For the last 20 years, WordPress plugins have always been the go-to solution for your website. You need a booking system? The Amelia plugin is ready to go. You want a contact form? Sure, install WP Forms. But with AI tools becoming smarter and more flexible, I now feel comfortable saying that we don't really need specific plugin categories anymore or their ridiculous pricing plans. Now today's video is gonna be a little controversial and I like controversial videos cause I like spicing things up sometimes. In 2025, AI tools can now build the same features as a plugin such as a booking system, contact form, and a few others. No bloats, no subscriptions, and no updates breaking your websites. And have you really seen how these WordPress companies price their plugins? More on that later. There is no reason to pay $1,000 a year for a calendar plugin, and there's no reason to pay $800 a year for a booking form. Now, in case you didn't know, you can take AI projects that you've created with Lovable, Bolts, or Cursor, and embed them directly on your WordPress websites. This is how you can connect your WordPress website with AI and start replacing plugins. So today I'll be breaking down which plugin categories are quickly becoming irrelevant in 2025. Moreover, I'll explain why you should switch to AI, why WordPress plugin pricing has become pure greed, and then call out plugin categories that are basically getting replaced right now. And the first category we have is booking plugins. Booking form plugins like Amelia and Bookly have always been the go-to for years. For example, the Amelia plugin is a powerful booking plugin and appointment scheduling plugin designed for businesses like salons, spas, gyms, or clinics. You can buy a license for this product for about $400 a year. That's if you want the real pro version. The other plans, well, they're just kind of upselling you. Most WordPress developer these days purposely create bad or watered down versions of their plugins with limited features of their plugins in order to make customers pay more and upsell you to the most expensive plan. And Amelia is not the only one, okay? I don't want this video to be some anti-Amelia video. They're actually a great company. They have a solid product. They're just doing what everyone else is doing in the industry, so I totally get it. But in the end of the day, they can price their products however they want. It's their business and more power to them. And I wouldn't want some punk on YouTube telling me how to price my products. But instead of going through these deceptive ecosystems, we can now bypass it with AI. With Lovable, you can create a booking form tailored to your websites. You can create unlimited staff, unlimited services, and unlimited integrations. Plus, you're not paying per location, per website, or per year. You build it once and it's yours forever. You can create a complex booking form with a variety of styles and design the form any which way you describe. And there's no limitations on how creative you can get or how many features you want to add to your booking form. And the best part is, you're not stuck or limited behind what the developer thinks are the best updates. You can create your own. With AI, you can create your own integrations and features. You need a Slack integration? Just ask the AI. Log in with Slack and it's done in five seconds. What about a Google Calendar integration? Done in five seconds. You can literally build a booking form exactly how you want with unlimited fields, unlimited integrations, and you can hook it into anything. Stripe, PayPal, Google Sheets, Zapier, or even automate it with NAN. So here's a current booking form that I created with Lovable. And let's say you just got a course. You'll click on the course, next step. Select the date and time, pretty cool. And then put in your information. All right, here we go, animal.com. Throwing something in here. Go to book now, and we're done. And then right here, I can save this to Google Calendar. And on top of that, we have a dashboard here where users can see all the analytics of what's going on in your form. Pretty cool. Now, on top of that, you can create something a little bit more creative, like something like this, where it has this kind of like retro, like Tokyo look to it. And then if you're like a complete nerd, you can create some sort of medieval time quest, you know, booking form or whatever. And you can just like, you know, whatever you can think of, you can make it. And voila, we now have our booking form integrated on our websites. And no one's really going to know that you're using Lovable, right? Because they can just go ahead and book things directly on the websites, just like they would from, you know, Lovable. And doing it this way, you know, you're going to save a lot of money, right? And again, the sky is the limit. So you can be as creative as you want with your booking forms. What's also really cool is you can go to the styling options here and you can like adjust it and style it to fit your website needs. You can also lock the scroll. So when users scroll down, it'll just scroll normally like the website. So it won't scroll on the actual app. It'll scroll on the website, making it feel more natural. And then for the advanced section, you can actually, you know, reduce the size of the app or you can, you know, put it in different directions to, to manipulate the form, how you want it to look. So if you're stuck in a subscription plan and you're kind of tired of it and you want to get out of it, go learn how to use Lovable AI and you can create some really beautiful booking forms with Lovable. And the next plugin category that's going to be depreciated is, ooh, contact forms. Contact forms have the same trap. WP Forms starts with a basic plan of $99, which gives you, well, basically nothing but a simple contact form. If you want conditional logic, you'll have to get the pro plan, which renews at $400. You want payment forms? Same deal. 
And if you're running multiple websites, you'll need to pay the elite license that renews at $600 a year. It's the classic upsell model. You think you're saving money by buying lower tier, but the moment you want real functionality, you're funneled into this premium options funnel. And check this out. If you want to add webhooks to a contact form, you'll need to pay $600 a year. With AI, you can do that for free. And to give you some examples of some contact forms that I've made, so here I have this contact form and when people fill it out, you'll see on the right side, we have this form progress and you know, I instructed it to do that. Also, as we keep filling it out, you'll see that uh, you know, the form progress keeps going, which is really, really cool. Also, we have this video that I added here on the top right. And when actually people scroll down, it actually follows the actual contact form. So you can have like a spokesperson here, like talking to someone to, you know, encourage them to fill out the contact form. And then below that, we have budget, we have timeline, we have messages, file uploads, a schedule a call, and then also a FAQ section. So I thought this form actually looked really cool. Now, another one that I created was something like this, where if a user wants to buy something on your contact form, you can integrate payment gateways where, you know, they can pick a plan right here, fill out some information, and then go through a checkout process. And the last one that I made was this one over here, where if the user fills this out, we also have this form progress where, you know, the form lets people know they're finishing. And I've actually embedded this directly on my WordPress website over here. So this is my WordPress website. And you would never know this is a contact form from Lovable because it integrates perfectly with the website. So scrolling down, you'll see we can just go ahead and fill this out, hit send message. And the thing is also is that this scrolls directly with the website. So your customers will have no idea this is a Lovable form. I don't see a valid reason to buy a contact form in 2025. For the amount of features that they give you in the contact form for $600 a year, it's just simply not worth it anymore. For the same price of a contact form, you can literally get hosting for an entire year at Cloudways or Kinsta compared to just adding a small checkbox on your contact form. And to the contact form companies out there watching this, no hard feelings, you know, but now that we got AI, we can make these forms really easily and look better. So yeah, there's that. Next up, SMTP plugins. SMTP plugins have slowly been fading away, not all due to AI, but hosting companies. Most hosting companies like Hostinger now offer their own SMTP options for free for clients. However, SMTP plugins still create those weird pricing options. Take WP Mail SMTP, for example. Now, before we begin, I do like this plugin, so I don't mean to bash on them. I'm just saying that we don't really need them anymore. For advanced features like email logging, managing multiple connections, and detailed reports, these are all locked behind the pro plan. And this starts at a renewal price of $99 a year. And again, if you're running more than one site, you'll need to get their agency plan, which renews at $450 a year. But with AI, we can skip all of that. You can build direct integrations with services like Amazon SES, SendGrid, or OmniSend. Just give the AI your API key and you're good to go. So here's how AI works with SMTP. N8N acts like a bridge between your WordPress website and your email provider. Your form submission sends data via webhook, N8N receives it, and then it triggers an email node. What that means is it'll send your information to SendGrid, OmniSend, Postmark, or Gmail. And lastly, you can add automation logic. This means you can send a user a confirmation email, then it'll notify your team on Slack. And lastly, it could add this to Google Sheets or Airtable. So yeah, if you're paying money for an SMTP plugin in 2025, you're just kind of wasting your money. And the next category to go is calendar plugins. WordPress calendar plugins like the events calendar and the modern events calendar plugin have been popular for years. The free versions are stripped down to the point of being pretty much useless. And the moment you need real functionality like recurring events or ticket sales, you're forced into this expensive add-on and pro plan market. Check this out. The modern events calendar plugin for unlimited websites costs a thousand dollars a year. Let me say that again, a thousand dollars a year for a plugin. Plus, they're gonna throw you into their add-on market to get even more money out of you. I personally hate all these plugins that do this, this add-on market, you know, because when you buy the pro version of a plugin, what are you really buying if you have to buy add-ons for the plugin? Doesn't make much sense. I like what Astra did with Late Points. They recently acquired this company and decided not to sell the add-ons and they included it in their main pro plan. This makes sense. So plugins that offer this whole add-on market, they should really be included inside the pro plan. I know that Bookly does this and also a few others, and I've just never really liked it. AI tools will change this completely. With Lovable, you can generate custom calendars that look exactly the way you want, whether it's a month, week, or list view. You can add recurring events, integrate with Google Calendar or iCal, and even include RSVP or payments with PayPal and Stripe. Instead of being locked into a developer's design and pricing tiers, you can create your own. 
So next I went ahead and I created a calendar event plugin. And on this uh, calendar right here, you'll see that we can click on specific events. Now this is coming from an admin point of view, so I can create specific events here and then customers can go ahead and buy tickets for those events. So I'll put in the title, the description, you know, uh, the category here, we have the start date and time, location, and then I can let the AI know this is a paid event and users can go ahead and pay me money for this specific event. Now, once the customers actually click on this right here, I created this pop-up where they can actually get some information about the events. We can also probably add like an image here. So maybe I should probably add that in. We also have event details. And then right here, they can buy the tickets and they can pay directly with Stripe or PayPal. Also, as an admin, I can actually have my own dashboard right here. This shows the events, my registrations, how much I've spent. And this syncs up directly with the actual calendar. So this is for the admin's point of view. And for customers, you can create a little customer portal right here where uh, it'll let them know about what they're signed up for. And they can also click on browse events and then go directly back to the calendar. And then over here, we have settings where users can enter their personal info, notifications, billing and payments. So they can go ahead and adjust their billing methods right here. And then we have privacy and security, app preferences and you know time zone and whatever else. So you can do all of this without having to do anything or intervening for your customers. So I just thought this was really cool. I just like the idea that you as a customer now are given the power to create any sort of platform you want with AI instead of relying on third-party developers from WordPress to create you know, plugins that might not have what you want. And the last category I think will go away soon is table plugins. Table plugins like TablePress and WP Data Tables have always been the go-to solution. This lets WordPress users display pricing charts, comparison tables, and product data. But these plugins come with major downsides. The free versions are limited. Advanced features like filtering, conditional formatting, or database connections are locked behind premium plans that cost $200 a year to 800 bucks. That's right, 800 bucks for a table plugin. I am not kidding. Plus the designs often look dated, not unless you spend hours of custom CSS tweaking it. AI tools are quickly making these plugins obsolete. With Lovable, you can generate responsive, modern tables, style to your website's culture or branding. You can also create reports and analytics for your customers with just a few clicks. So this is a table that I created with Lovable. And here users can go ahead and, you know, they can filter through specific categories and prices as well. They can also add rows. They can also add columns as well. Right here, they can go ahead and put something in. If we scroll down, you'll see that we have more tables here and you can create as many tables as you would like to showcase this to your customers. You can also sync this up with N8N and pull information automatically from various websites using an API. Also, if you wanna get really crazy, here at the top right, I added this little design bar where users can actually make something really crazy if they want a specific style. I mean, you don't have to, but I'm just saying there is no limitations on what you wanna to add to your, uh, you know, to your table. Here, I put in a light and a dark mode, which I thought was really cool. Users can also download this as a PDF and also download this as an Excel spreadsheet. Now, looking at table press over here, it virtually looks pretty much the same. You can make the same type of table. Uh, here, the users can download this as a PDF, Excel, but look at this, SCV. We don't have this. Let's add it in. So I went ahead and I asked Lovable to add in a downloadable CSV file for my customers. So now they're gonna add this feature onto my table. In a matter of about a minute, we now have this SCV file where we can now download this for our customers. No need to wait for updates, no need to wait for feature requests, we can now make our own. You know, I spent about a day contemplating if I should make this video, but you know, I've been using Lovable for some time and then seeing how these companies price their plugins, I just thought it was the right thing to do. I think it's time people actually fight back against this corporate greed. There's no reason to pay $600 a year for a contact form. There is no reason why to pay $800 a year for a table plugin. There is no reason to pay $1,000 a year for a calendar plugin. And there's no reason to pay $800 a year for a booking form. I say this because a lot of these large WordPress companies work as a network or click and only agree to promote each other's products that are the most expensive. This is how the WordPress industry works and it kind of sucks. There's a ton of plugins that are probably a lot cheaper, but you're gonna find them on either page 500 in their WordPress repo or on page nine in the Google search. In fact, if you combine the price of these four plugins, that's gonna be $3,200 a year for just very basic functions on your websites. And when you compare that to AI, you can probably spend maybe like 200 bucks on Lovable to you know, generate these and not have to worry about subscriptions or payment plans or updates breaking your website. And for the developers watching this video and scratching their head thinking, well, Daryl, what would you charge for a plugin then? Well, I think no plugin should cost more than $50 a year. 
Take a look at Elegant Themes. This company sells a theme with a visual page builder. With their pricing plans, you can get all their plugins, including the Bloom plugin, the Monarch plugin, and the Divi Builder, and the WordPress theme for just $89 a year. There's no reason why these plugins with minimal functionality should be charging these outrageous prices when their development is minimal at best. If Elegant Themes can do it, these other guys can do it. I've always said this in all my videos, Elegant Themes is by far the most ethical WordPress company in the industry. They price their products really fair, and the reason why I haven't made any videos on Divi is because they are currently transitioning to a 5.0 version, which is a complete overhaul from their other 4-point version. So essentially, the Divi you're using right now is going to look very different in just a few months. And when that update comes out, I'll definitely make a video on it. But let's be real, the pricing I showed you today was crazy. Now, I know I showed you the most expensive plan in these examples, but they purposely create watered down versions of their product in order to push customers to buy these outrageously overpriced plugins, and I'm just really against it. And to the devs watching this, there is no hard feelings. You know, we're in the era of AI, so using AI to create workarounds for, you know, plugins, it's just the natural thing to do. And I know the dev argument is going to be something like, well, Daryl, we work really hard to make this plugin and uh, we can charge whatever we want. And if you use our plugin, it can make your website a lot of money. And that's fine. You know, I'll acknowledge that argument, which makes sense. But until they become reasonable and offer reasonable prices, I just simply will not recommend them no more. And I think me offering a cheaper alternative to my audience is just the right thing to do. So I'm going to go that route. And I think people here watching this should do the same thing and start using AI. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about AI tools and everything that we talked about in the comments below. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people later.